Welcome dear Auto Crew fans from a very strange perspective because it is one of the very few times I am standing inside a car. This is a new Marco Polo activity and we are taking a look today at the Marco Polo activity and the Marco Polo. In two versions, one is based on the Mercedes Vito and the other one, very luxurious one, is based on the Mercedes V-Class. As for the engines, Mercedes is starting with three diesels approximately 130, 160 and 190 horsepower. The main market is Germany this time because people in Germany tend to go on holiday with their car and also go camping. And also France and Belgium are important markets. The US and China are not that relevant this time. And now let's go into the detail with Bertrand Janssen. He is senior manager of Creation Brands, so a quite high designer here at Mercedes and Smart. Yeah, welcome at the uh, press event of the Marco Polo. We're standing here in front of the Marco Polo. This, uh, we got it in two variants. This is the Marco Polo, we got the Marco Polo Activity. And it means the two variants are differentiating in a way that uh, the Marco Polo has luxury and comfort in it. And the Marco Polo Activity is more in a way producty. And from that point of view, it's also more functional and robust. This is the Marco Polo, as you can see. The differentiation with the exterior of the V-Class is, of course, the roof, which falls out, because that's what you need if you're inside to use the bed and to stand in the vehicle itself. So if we're running around the vehicle, as you clearly can see, so from this point up, really, as you can see, we got here a cant rail, we got the front part, and we got the, the full roof. This is a new part for specific for the Marco Polo. If you go on the interior, as you clearly can see, the dash is exactly the same as we presented for the V-Class. And we clearly can see there's this whole luxury and comfort uh, design. Um, it's typical for the V-Class. Also, we also get the touch control. We got the big screen in the middle. And very important for us with the design was that we have this form language that we translated to the back to the Marco Polo of the interior. So not only the form language, but also the materialization and the color. And specific, if we talk about the elements, which are clearly galvanized, we also use that as really material, galvanized material in the interior of the Marco Polo. If we then go on the other side of the vehicle. So clearly I'm now sitting in the Marco Polo, I'm sitting at the bed. <coughs> These are of course the seats which are folded down and you clearly can see that you have a luxury space inside. We have different variations from colors. This is the so named, uh, let's say it's Seidenbeige of, of German to say we got two variants of wooden floors. This is the light one, we also get a dark one. What we uh, mentioned before is that if you look again to the form language of the dashboard, you clearly can see that elements are carried over here to this kitchenette. And to the kitchenette, as you clearly can see, it's very nice rounded on the detail. And this rounded detail gives a lot of luxury and a lot of comfort feel. Of course, the functionality is very important for this vehicle, but at the other hand, it's the combination of materialization and function. And as you can see, Clearly also we paid a lot of attention to details like, for example, this, this, um, this switch to open it, to open the kitchenette. And you clearly can see also uh, the high gloss stainless steel and all the elements are really close to a design and also in consistency of the form language of the vehicle. <clears throat> if you go to the rear, we clearly can see as well that we deliberately we chose for a light color on the ceiling because the light color gives us, of course, the very space in this feel of the vehicle. And nice details, for example, if you look to the Marco Polo logo on the rear, uh, which is also the functionality, as you can show, where you can see there you have the storage element. If you close it, it's really embedded by the speaker. 
situation. So from that point of view, this is just a nice detail to show again the luxury and the comfort level what we want to manage for this uh, Marco Polo vehicle. So as you can see, it's very spacious inside the vehicle and I'm now sitting on the bed. But if I'm standing up, you clearly can see with the falling roof that you can stand up very easily. Even persons which are 2 meter 20 high has a lot of room to stay around. So from that point of view, it's not only the situation where we have the bed here, but this spaciousness feel is of course very identical for the Marco Polo. So we are standing here for the second Marco Polo vehicle. Um, basically it's the, it's the same vehicle what we showed before, just this has a different colors and it has a leather seats inside. Exterior color is differently, but again we also see the folded roof, which is typical for the Marco Polo. If we go to the inside. As you clearly can see, and I'm sitting inside this vehicle, what I mentioned before, it's the lighter color we have here for the leather fabrics and immediately you get a more luxurious and comfort feel for this particular vehicle. Again, the same is the, the light area up on the top. I mean, that's of course that gives spaciousness feel in a way which is also very important for this one. Um, as we de as designers said, we think and strongly believe, again with the materialization, which is really in harmony with each other, that we strongly believe that our customers, when they step in, they get really the wow effect. That they will really say, wow, this is really cool. And again, to mention it, very important was that we get consistency of materialization of the front, of the driver's seat, where he has his cockpit. This materialization is also translating to the rear of the vehicle. And you really can see on the kitchen area all those elements, like aluminium, which is really aluminium. So what you feel is what you get. We got also the piano uh, paint on the top of it, which is also on the dashboard. And the color combination of the kitchenette with this sand color in combination with the black area with the floor gives a very nice harmony. So in this Marco Polo vehicle, as you can see, you have on the left hand side in driver direction, you have to, the kitchen area. And it means you have on one side, you have the sliding door. But what very unique is from the position where you're sitting and I'm sitting here, I can turn the seats on the cockpit and it means immediately I get a very a ruminous and spacious environment which uh, reminds you at home because that's of course our message what we want to bring over we want to have the feeling exactly what you have at home that means you want to live you want to sleep and you want to um, uh, to re relax in this typical area and all this environment including the colors and materialization gives you all the luxury and comfort what you also expect at your home so as you can see from the outside, of course this vehicle is for customers who want to travel around. But not necessarily wants to stay in a hotel, they want to have their own hotel on wheels. And as you can see, that they also want to have the environment creating around it, the way you then can sit outside. When the sun is shining, you have the possibility with this folding roof to the outside, you can put here camping seats in it. These seats are part of the Marco Polo vehicle, so these are easy to install in the rear of the vehicle. So more or less what you do is you bring your home with you, yourself on wheels and you can go everywhere where you want to travel around and to have all the luxury what you need and what you have as well at home. So this is the second model of the Marco Polo family and it means this is a Marco Polo activity. And the word activity is explaining everything, it means you're more active on the way. So this particular vehicle are for families or for people who are doing lots of sports and they want to use the vehicle and use it more from the practicality and as well that it has more function from that point of view. The biggest difference is on the outside is there's no difference. On the inside, there you clearly, clearly can see that the kitchen is missing. So that means 
the kitchen is missing, give you more space in this. And those people are not in the way of the other Marco Polo. They want to go on the way and take the home on wheels. But this is more that they want to relax, that they want to sleep because all the sleeping area is also there. The only thing what is missing is from that point of view is the whole kitchen. Plus the fact if you also look carefully, it is from the interior point of view, different fabrics which are easy to, uh, to uh, clean in that way. And again, what I mentioned, the variability of it of the vehicle is enormous. Plus the fact you have a lot of storage elements which are also very important for those people who want to travel with this Marco Polo activity. Here we are at, um, at the rear of the vehicle of the Marco Polo activity. And as you can see, if you fall down the rear seat, then you have a complete bed from left to right. And of course you can fold it up where you can generate some storage from that point of view. So very functional vehicle, very luxury in that way. About the form language, it's identical to the Marco Polo. So Marco Polo and Marco Polo activity are in the form language uh, equal. The only differentiation is on the interior. There we have the dash, which is the, the dash of the Vito vehicle. Of course, there is a differentiation in price and positioning. So from that point of view, there you can see that you have some elements which are different uh, to, to the both vehicles.